Alrighty mate, so this is one of the tutorials that I am most excited to teach you guys about and that is the new class syntax with ES6 because I had a real problem with classes and you know the traditional version is the JavaScript it's like if I want to create a class I know how to do it I'm just gonna use the class keyword write the name of the class and then I have constructor tomato tomato it's simple but JavaScript no I have to make it so confusing I have to make functions and prototypes and God forbid you even try to use inheritance because get ready to pull your hair out well now with ES6 it changes all that it allows you to make classes pretty much like you should have been able to since the beginning. So let's say that I want to make a new person class. So all I have to do is write class person. And of course, whenever I create a person, the instant that I create them, I want to give them some initial values. I want to be able to give them a name, maybe an age and maybe a weight. I don't know. Maybe this is like for a doctor's office where you have to like store their weight. Who knows? So thought that was going to pop up but basically anytime you want to do that you have to make a constructor and you just call it constructor easy enough so now any values or attributes that you want to initially set you just pass in so name age weight boom roasted now of course you want to make these attributes specific to this object so thankfully we can use the keyword this now whenever we hit something like this name equals name then what this means is whatever name we passed in is equal to this object's name. And of course, what this allows is for you to be able to create multiple different people and they each have their own name. So Bucky can have his name. We can create another person called Sally. She could have her name, so on and so forth. So this would be something like this age equals age and this weight equals weight. So later on, I'm going to show you guys how to create multiple objects and they each have their own set of properties. And that brings me to another point. People ask me a lot, when do you use classes and when do you just create a bunch of, you know, standalone functions? You're going to create a class whenever you have a bit of code that you need to be self-aware. So I always have like helper functions like to write a file, parse JSON, do whatever. Whenever I use those, they're pretty much just a little snippets of code that run and then they're done. I don't need them to remember anything or do anything special. Now, whenever I create a person object, then this person or this little bit of code is going to need to remember its name. It's going to need to remember its age. It's going to have some bit of memory that it needs to be aware of. So that is when you write a class versus just a bunch of functions. Whenever you need a bit of code to be self-aware or remember something, stick it inside a class. Also, if you just have a bunch of similar code and you want to group it, then make it a class, but there you go. All right. So instead of just making a constructor in here, you can also have methods. So I'll say display weight, and this is just a method that displays the person's weight. So I'll just say console log, um, I'll just say this weight. So again, whenever we create methods inside here, we have access to the object's attributes. So we can just log out this object's weight and it's gonna print out their weight right there. So with that being said, let me go ahead and create a few objects. I'm gonna make one called Bucky and this is gonna be equal to a new person object. And of course, it takes three parameters. The name, the age, and the weight. So the name is gonna be Bucky. How old am I? 87. And how much do I weigh? 6,650 6, pounds. All right, beautiful, mate. Now anytime I wanna print out my weight, I just call the object. We only have one, which is Bucky. And then display weight. And boom, look at that. Now again, like I was saying, what we can also do is we can create another object named Sally that is an object from the same class, the same template. And of course, Sally, she's my girlfriend in case you guys never heard of her. She's actually 21 years old and she only weighs 89 pounds. But uh, yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. Sometimes you go to the movies and whatever. But anyways, anytime I want to display Sally's weight, then all I have to do is something like that. Boom roasted, there you go. 
So I'm not going to go into too many details about how to work with classes because I'm assuming that as programmers, you guys already know, um, ES6 just makes it a lot easier to use classes and create objects and makes the entire syntax a whole lot cleaner. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to use inheritance with ES6.